This is video number 11 in the Intermediate Skills and Techniques series for Bay students. In this video, we'll be doing uh, shifting exercises numbers one through five. Okay, and if you're one of my students, you have these already, or you should be able to find them. If you're not, and you want to do these with us, you can you can contact me and I'll be happy to send them to you. It's just these little easy little things that I've written out. Um, and um, just currently I teach at Beckendorf Junior High in Katy, Texas. You'll be able to find me, find my email through that way. And let me know if you would like a copy of these. Okay, so we're just gonna basically, these are gonna be pretty easy for you because you've been shifting for a long time. The rest of the students, violin, and violas and cellos, shifting is kind of a new concept for them, especially violins and violas. So the one thing you need to watch out though for on this is that sometimes you, where you're playing certain things, okay? So you may be playing G, sometimes open G, sometimes not. So you gotta pay attention to exactly where you're playing. Just shadow bow, line one, just four measures long. It's gonna be really easy. You can start off with the easiest shifts possible, which is shifting while you're playing an open string. Shadow bow, one and one, two, half note, and go. D, E. Now while you're playing D, shift up and put G up here. Back to first position. Okay, so just make sure you are shifting while you're playing the open D. Don't wait until it's time to play G to move your hand, okay? Play now. One, two, number one, and go. D, E. Now while you're playing this D, move up. Get your hand in the right place. Make sure your whole arm moves up. Okay, and going on to number two. Now this is gonna be a same finger shift. One to one. One, release the weight, slide, press in, one. Shadow bow number two, and one, two, number two, shadow bow, D. Now slide it up. Two, hold it four counts. shifting for a while however it's a very good chance that your shifts are still not smooth so these are probably pretty easy for you really focus on not just getting it in tune but getting a nice smooth shift play with me now number two and one two number two and go two three Now, if you have that whole note and it sounds bad, remember one of the things we do when we have a super slow bow, we can play a little bit closer to the bridge. Now, not right on top of the bridge, because that never sounds good on bass, or hardly ever sounds good on bass. But go away from that fingerboard just a little bit on your slow bow, and that might help the tone if you don't sound good on that. Going on to number three, assuming you're ready, if you need to practice two to get a better tone on that whole note, please do. Number three, you're, it's the same shift, E to G, and then you go up to A, fourth finger. On, in third position. That's it. Shadow bow number three. One, two, number three, and go. D, D, e. Now slide up. Okay, you should be in with the frog the boat. You're going to be tempted to do a bow lift at the end of measure two, but don't do that. The whole purpose in this, in playing it twice, is that you practice the shift with your arms, both arms going this direction, and then you should practice the shift one time with your arm going this way, when they're going towards each other, okay? It's a different motion. So this is the same motion, and this is opposite motions, and we want to practice both. So no bow lifts. Play number three now. One, two, number three, and go. to number four. The same thing. Don't do a bow lift. There's no bow lift. Play shadow bow first and one, two, number four and go. Now open G. Now fourth position. Now open G. Fourth position. Now you're going to find more and more that we do those kinds of things. Sometimes we go over to a string and then come back to the first one. So this is a little bit awkward. It's not difficult, it's just awkward. So while you're playing open G, 
your arm is moving above the D string. Don't let this happen because you're going to be on the wrong string. Only your bow arm goes to the G string just for those two notes, okay? So don't, don't play yet. Just watch. D, E. While I'm playing open G, I'm moving all the way to fourth position. And I go back to the G string with my bow, okay? But you're going to be tempted to do this because you've not done that much, if at all, yet. Go, moving here and then moving back. Try it with me if you think you're ready. And again, no bow lift. And one, two, number four, and go. D, E, now open G and move all the way to fourth. In first position. Open G, move all the way to fourth. Okay, let's try that together one more time because that one's a little bit trickier. All right, let's try it together. Again, number four, and one, two, Number four, and go. D, E, open G, and move all the way to fourth. Open G. Okay? If you're ready, let's go on to number five. Okay? Now, number five, you're going to go all the way up to fifth position. So it's all on the D string. There's no open G on this. But you're going to go to first position. Then you're going to go to third, and then from there go to fifth. We're not going to fourth at all. We're going to play the B. Rather than play it in fourth position like you just did, you're going to play it with second finger in fifth position, and then the C. It's a C natural. Well, there's keys, so there's only one sharp. So all Cs are natural. It's going to go in between your two stars right there. Okay? This would be C sharp. We don't want that. We want second finger for the B, fifth position, fourth finger for the C, natural in fifth position. Okay? Shadow bow number five. One. Two, shadow bow, five, go. Now all the way to G. Shift up. Shift up. Up to fifth. Okay, if you think you're ready, play with me. If you need to pause and practice, that's completely understandable. Number five, one, two, red C, and go D. Third position, third, now fifth position, back to first position, to third, one more note, and shift to fifth, two, and then four. Okay, try that again with me. Again, that was a little bit trickier. Four and five are probably the only ones that would be tricky for you in this video. One, two, number five, and go. Now shift here. because that's going to come, especially three, four, and five are going to come back to haunt you later on, on, on um, in a couple of videos, because we'll be doing a repeat of those, but making them, we're going to be shifting up and down with those. So especially get three, four, and five really, really good, okay, before you try to do your next video.